They're flat, they live on roofs, and love to sunbathe. Solar panels, solar panels, solar panels. You may have heard of them before. And if you have, then there's a good chance that you've seen them in your own neighborhood. Solar panels have been around for decades and in recent years have gained massive popularity with a rooftop solar installation going up every three minutes on average in the United States. So why are so many people making the switch? And more importantly, how do you know if solar panels are worth it for your home? What's up, it's Elijah with Suns.com, America's leading online solar marketplace. And when most people are asking if solar panels are worth it or not for their home, they usually just wanna know if they make sense financially. And that's super easy to figure out. You just have to find the difference between what you spend now with the utility versus what you would spend with solar. And with that, you'll find your savings. Now it's really easy to find your utility cost. I mean, you just take a look at a recent bill and you can figure it out from there. But questions start popping up for most homeowners when it comes to figuring out how much a solar panel system should cost for their specific home. And the reason for that is, is because solar isn't cookie cutter or one size fits all. Each home has their own unique needs and differences that need to be accommodated for. So the question becomes, what factors determine solar insulation cost? Now there are three main factors that determine how much a homeowner spends to install solar panels on their home. So the first factor that affects solar cost is energy usage. And all energy usage is, is just the amount of electricity that your home consumes within a 12 month period. And so if you look at your electricity bill, there's a bar graph that shows exactly how many kilowatt hours your home has used within the last 12 months. And with that number, we can figure out how much energy your home uses, and that justifies the amount of panels that your home will need. So the goal is to build a solar system big enough that will cover 100% of the power that your home needs. And the reason for that is, is so that you don't have to be subject to any of the rate hikes or plan changes that utilities tend to do on an annual basis to their customers. And so with more usage comes more panels, and with more panels comes more cost. Okay, so that covers energy usage. The next factor that determines solar cost is your roof solar potential. So when I say roof solar potential, I'm speaking about a few things. The first one being your roof's orientation. So typically the best place to put solar panels is gonna be on the south or southwest plane of the roof. Um, and the reason for that is, is because it gets the most sunlight, right? And so if it gets more sunlight, you don't need as many solar panels. You don't need as many solar panels, it's not gonna cost you as much, right? So if you were to put your solar panels on the north facing roof, you would need more panels to get the same amount of energy, just strictly due to the fact that it doesn't get as much sunlight. And then there's shading. So if you have lots of trees around your home, that's gonna get in the way of the solar panels. That's gonna increase your cost because again, the more shading there is, the more panels you're gonna need, the more panels, the higher the cost. So the third factor that affects solar costs are gonna be the available incentives. So there are three main types of incentives. There's the 30% solar tax credit, which just got extended for an additional 10 years. So if you purchase your system, whether you're financing it or you purchase it outright with cash, you're eligible to receive that 30% federal tax credit. So if your solar system, let's just say it costs $20,000, you'll receive a tax credit for $6,000, which is awesome. And so there's also state rebates. So depending on what state you live in, you can get the fixed dollar amount back from the state for making the switch to solar. And then there's also utility rebates. So these aren't as prevalent, but depending on who your utility is, again, kind of like the state rebate, it's usually a fixed amount that you can get back. So those are the three main factors that determine how much a homeowner spends to install solar panels on their home. Again, to summarize, it's gonna be the energy usage, the roof solar potential, and the available incentives in your area. And with that information, you can figure out whether or not solar panels are worth it for your home. It's just comparing apples to apples, right? How much are you spending with the utility versus how much you're gonna be spending with solar. So the first link below this video will take you to our library of state solar guides, where you can use our free solar savings calculator to calculate your solar savings and costs for your home, or you can just read your state solar guide to get an idea of how solar works in your specific state. So if you thought this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if there's any other solar related videos or topics that you'd like us to cover, leave a comment down below.